Ukulele club, everybody. Have you been practicing the theme song? <laughs> all day, all day, every day. Uh, I need to just, I guess I just need to refresh the page again so I can see the live stream. Oh no, I have to wait 10 seconds and then refresh yeah. the live stream. Because we're okay. in the past. Because we're living in the past. Living in the past. There it is. It's kind of funny how the, uh, when the when the timeline is telling me that there's a live stream ready to start, it shows a picture of the library instead of a picture of us. Wow, nice. Because so it show it shows like the, the, the profile picture for the page. So we're basically in the basement of the library right now. You know, more or less. So it looks like the live stream is going on my phone. It doesn't look like it's going on my Okay, there it is. You know, you'd think after two months I'd be better at this part, but this part keeps changing ever so slightly every week. Hey everybody, here's the theme song. Two, three, four. Wood County District Public Library. with my bass ukulele today, so uh, if you're playing along with a normal ukulele, uh, ignore most of what I'm doing because it won't, it won't match what you're going to be doing. I'm Jason, this is Sherry, we are here once again. I think maybe this is session 7 of the Ukulele Club live stream here on the Wood County District Public Library Facebook page. We are going to play some music together. We are going to review some things that we've talked about the last few weeks. We're going to um, play some of these easy chords in the key of G, like this. And we're also going to review some chords in the key of E minor that we talked about last week. Talk about some songs that use those chords. It's hard for me to uh, resist playing my bass. I love my bass. Um, we're going to talk a little bit about the bass and its function in a musical group, um, regardless of whether it's a bass ukulele, a bass guitar, an upright bass fiddle, or a tuba. Um, they all have a similar uh, role to play in music, in music of lots of different styles. Um, as always, you can go to the library's website, wcdpl.org, and or look around here on the library's Facebook page and find out more about all the online resources we have available. There's a Google Meet event tonight about sturgeon. Um, today is the first day, if you're watching this live anyway, or if you're watching it later on the same day, today is the opening day of curbside pickup service at the Bowling Green and Walbridge branches. So if you have items that you've requested, and they are available, you can uh, pull right up in the library parking lot and someone will bring them out for you. Um, stuff that you currently have checked out will uh, still have an extended due date. There's more information on the website about things like that. Um, but things that you check out starting today will have normal due dates, just like they did back way back when, prior to March 14th. Um, all kinds of information and goodies on the library's website that you can check out. I'm just a little bit curious about the speed of the stream. Wow. Okay, the stream is a little bit slow, but that's fine. It's all good. I hope you can see us. Let us know in the comments if there's any uh, any difficulty at all. Ten seconds ago. Ten seconds ago. <laughs> and we're just going to bring the song home. Library, you 
ukulele club Wood County District Public Library Ukulele club Come on along and play your ukes with me It's the ukulele club Always a big finish when you're playing Always. your ukulele. Uh, what, what else do I need to tell you? I need to tell you, uh, uh, for those of you following along with Jeff's video lessons on our YouTube channel. Um, they're so good. There is, the second one is uploaded now. Uh, there was a little bit of a delay uh, for me getting it uh, loaded up with other things that were going on. But it's there now. So there's part one and part two of Jeff's lesson on how to play Lodi. Um, which involves some standard chords, like the G with three fingers and all that, uh, and a little bit of uh, walk down, a little bit of melodies in between the chords kind of stuff to make you sound extra cool when you're playing it. Oh, hi, Laureen. Wow, Laureen is on. Um, Ten seconds ago, anyway. Um, okay, so we are, uh, if I understand correctly, we are, uh, our reach is as broad as Minnesota now, at least. Um, I had, oh, there was, okay, so if you tried, um, if you have ever had any trouble, there is an email address on our website. You can't just click on the link, you have to actually type the email address, it's a sort of a spam avoidance thing. But uh, if you had any trouble uploading any files or any other questions about anything, let us know uh, via email or uh, in the comments on the uh, Facebook post. Um, there was a little bit of a problem I discovered with the uh, upload link. So if you've been trying to upload your parts for that collaborative song we're working on, um, try it again. It should work great this time. Um, as always, of course, I hope you saved your files so that you could try again uploading them. I think that's all I have to say now. I'm going to turn it over to Sherry, who's going to show you this song. You're going to sing it, right? Am I sing it? Oh, sure. Uh, you s <laughs> I don't know it very well, but... In the valley, valley so low. Pause, pause. So well, we could do a yeah. pause. We could do a pause. Just okay. to point out that we're this starts with the G. It's a two chord wonder song, and it's a song that you can sing while you're falling asleep in case you need that. I have actually fallen asleep while playing before. Wow. Not this particular song. And I I've only done that once in public. Uh, so you need this G six chord. Um, or you can play a regular G chord if you like. Um, and then you need a D7, both of which we already have taught, so um, we're just going to go for it. I just put a couple of links in the comments, so anything uh, that you need to follow up on later should be at one of those places, scrubsmusic.com or wikidipple.org. Wikidipple. <laughs> Even though it 
it's spring, dear. It's still real cold down in the basement. Hello, no big finish. Any words you want, they're your words. It's your song. It's your word, your song. You be in charge. So that's one way to play this song. It's two chords, no waiting, a G and a D. But you can also do it other ways, with, in other, with other chords, in other styles. So you did that with the uh, the, the G6 and I did, whatever, right? Because it was yeah. Hawaiian and I was feeling yeah. hammockish. So, so you know, this, I mean, this isn't really how you play them on the bass, but the nice thing about the bass is it's large and so it's easy to show Hello, demonstrate wait, that's a U bass, right? You're playing there. This is a bass ukulele. This is a this is a gold tone micro bass. It's a bass ukulele. There are you would be surprised how many manufacturers are producing bass ukuleles these days. It's it's and it's not that much stone. bigger than my tenor, right? Maybe it's a little it's bit bigger. Bigger, yeah. Stand them up beside each other. But notice the thickness of the strings, that's the beauty of this machine. Yeah. So it's much, uh, it's much, much smaller than a bass guitar. It's about two thirds, I think, about two thirds the scale length of a typical bass guitar, about half the scale length of an upright classical or doghouse bass. Um, but it's got super thick strings and sort of a, an astonishingly resonant, relatively small body. This one has a cutaway, so you can play high notes on it. And not sure what the point of that is, really. On there is an but amp down there that you might not be able to see. There is an amp down here, because it's not that loud all by itself, but it's surprisingly loud. That's without the amp. So it's uh, louder, than a, the, louder than you might expect from an unplugged small bass instrument. It's still quite possible to rock the house. Okay, speaking of rocking the house. Okay, speaking of rocking the house, so 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 you know those those two chords, the G6 and the Hawaiian D7, where they just use the same two fingers, move them from this pair of strings to that pair of strings. Okay, an even easier pair of chords that we've talked about before is the F add nine which is just one finger on the first fret of the second string. So that's your that's your F right there. Can you tilt that this way toward the camera? Awesome. So that's that that note right there is your F. Um, and all the rest of the you've got a G and a C and an A, so uh, it's a cool set of notes together. And then if you move that finger over onto the first string at the first fret, you've got a C7 chord. So you've got all the on the ba uh, uh, on these th three string, you got all the notes of a of a C chord, and then that top one has uh, gives you your B flat, which is the seventh. Okay, so between those two, um, we can also play this song in the key of F, but uh, might as well do it in a Mix slightly different three. style. I just found out this morning that Otis Redding covered this song, so this isn't going to be Otis Redding's version, but it's inspired by o Otis Redding's version. Two, one, two, three, four! Uh, we're just going to vamp on F for a second. Down in the valley, the valley so his slow dive video was sometimes what you just want to do is pick your fingers up. So I was playing a nice F chord and then sometimes I would just take this index finger and give it a rest.
and the same thing with the with the with the C chord. I like to give myself permission to do as little work as possible while playing the ukulele. <laughs> so whenever I want to, I just ah. Oh, Rest your left hand. And whenever, again, the two mistakes that you might be making, especially when you get excited and you're playing, you might notice uh, the bouncing around is good, but what's not good is the tension that can develop in your hands. If you find, if your fingers are sticking out like this, um, or if you find that there's a lot of tension, if you're gripping, if your thumb is getting tired, if you have any tension in your thumb at all, it's time to just take him down and just drop him. Just let that little hand fall down and rest. Because you're working too hard. Don't work too hard. It's a ukulele. The other thing that might be happening to you as you remember how the chords go is you might be deciding that you're just going to have a little look. Mm -hmm. Just going to have a little look while I'm playing. And when I have a little look, look at what that does to my arm. It just twists him all up and it mm -hmm. maybe takes my elbow in and ow! Ow! It's bad. Um, so again, keep the uke parallel uh, to your body perpendicular to the ground and keep this arm relaxed if you feel the tension because you, you can develop if you squeeze with your hand you can feel the, the the tension streaming up your arm into your shoulder into your neck and you know what my people we have enough of that in our lives mm. right now let's don't have the ukulele causing you tension so anytime in the middle of a song you just like let your hand go <sighs> just relax and um and then an intermediate option you always have is just lay all four fingers in a relaxed fashion on the fingerboard and just play your Z chord. That gives your uh, left hand a little relaxation, but you can keep playing at the same time. Speaking of not having the ukulele cause you extra stress, if, you, um, if you're joining us for the first time, um, or if you just need to hear this again, one of the things we're trying to do here is show you some things that will be uh, useful and fun for you and your ukulele, um, or just in general for you as an appreciator of music. I'm reminded now that the the uh, advertising for this session says no ukuleles required. So even if you don't have a ukulele, you're quite welcome. You can play percussion, you can play guitar, clarinet, whatever, uh, feel free to play along with us with uh, whatever instrument you have, or sing, or uh, dance, dance or whatever you like. Um, in particular, if you do have a ukulele, and you are a beginner, we want to show you things that are easy to do right now with your ukulele, regardless of how much training or experience you have, or how many books you've read, uh, or how much you've practiced or studied. And if you're not a beginner, uh, we're hoping to show you some things that'll be uh, fun and interesting too, even if you've studied a lot. Um, and so one of the things that some people might wonder is why do we not start in the key of C like everybody else? Well, the C chord is relatively easy to play on a ukulele, only takes one finger. The F chord, the standard F chord, takes two fingers, and the standard G, or G7, takes three fingers. So, the key of C is really easy for reading and writing Western notation, but it's not so great necessarily in terms of the chords that you need to play a song on the ukulele in that key. You get, you get three different hand shapes, three different positions, three different numbers of fingers required, and, and it takes a little while especially to learn that G or G7 chord before you can play a song. Whereas on the other hand, in the key of F, we have an easy way to play an F chord, and we have a very easy way to play a C7 chord. And as soon as you have an F and a C7, there's a lot of songs like Down in the Valley that you can play uh, right away. Okay. Now we're going to show you something uh, that we showed you last week that's a little bit more complicated, but not too much more complicated. This takes three fingers. Um, and you start at the second fret on string one, and then just add a string on each subsequent fret on each subsequent string. And then you get this nice diagonal line across your fretboard, and you get a nice E minor chord. Now if you just move that over one string, move each finger over to the next string, you get a nice B7 chord. 
Now, most beginner music books wouldn't tell you to start by learning a B7 chord on the second day, but on the ukulele, an E minor and a B7 are pretty easy to play. They're not easy to read in sheet music, necessarily, but they're easy to play. You just got those three fingers and you can move them back and forth. And if you need a three chord song in a minor key, you can get that third chord by just taking all the fingers off and you get an A minor 7. One of the most fun things about the ukulele, uh, and one of the things that makes the ukulele great for whether you're a beginner uh, musician or not, is that you can play really complicated sounding stuff, and really stuff that looks complicated on paper that's really easy on the fretboard. So here is Oh Mary Don't You Weep. So you start with your E minor, start, start with uh, your first finger, second fret, first string, and then the next finger on the next fret, on the next string, and the next finger on the next fret, on the next string. And you get that shape. Two, three, four. And don't pay any attention to what my fingers are doing on the bass. The next chord is going to be the B7, where you just move that right over. And then you'll come back to your E minor. And now you're all going like this. <clears throat> don't do that. You're all tipping your ukulele so you can look down at your fingers. Quit it. Your fingers are good for feeling. That's why you, That's why they put them there. Feel around with your fingers and get it comfy. And the only other chord you're going to need is the wide open one. But don't fling your hand off like that. <laughs> just this. gently, just gently let go of those, gently let go of those strings and let, let your fingers float there so you're ready for the next one. You kind of always want your fingers curved in like you're holding something in your little hand. And ideally... There's a little bit of room. One of the Claire's violin Dr. I mean, Nett that used to say, make sure there's a little bit of room in here so you can tuck something in there. Like Im head. Imagine you're holding a tennis ball or, a, or an egg or something in the palm of your hand while you play. Okay. Yeah, it's good advice. E minor. Two, three, four. E minor. B7. Just move it over. Stay on the B7. And now move it back. And now the open chord. Seven and now back to E and now B and back to E minor. Yeah. Oh man, don't B. you weep no more. B. Oh Mary, don't B. you weep no more. A. Pharaoh's army got drowned. B. Oh Mary, don't you B. weep. Territory up the neck also belongs to you. <laughs> um, and so, uh, one of the cool things about the territory up the neck is you can discover it gradually. So, if you count up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven frets, you, this is an E, and it matches the C. If you take your little finger and lay it across these three strings, you get a lovely E minor chord. So, this sound, this is the same chord as this. Um, if you want to get fancy, then you can always shove this around. you got a nice E minor. If you want a D minor, just back it up two frets. D minor, back up two more, C minor. Um, and if you back it up all the way open, you get an A minor. Whoa. So start exploring that. It's Mind good for you. Mind blown. Really? Yeah. Okay, so what else are we going to play? Okay, so... E minor chord. 
Okay, so here's another thing that you can play with that same set of chords in E minor. So starting starting with E minor, uh, and again, ignore the fingers on the bass. Can you do that or this? But here's your E minor. Sweet dreams are A minor seven made B seven of this. Who am I? A minor to disagree B7 traveled the world and the seven seas everybody's looking for something let's just vamp on that E minor A minor B E minor A minor B B minor sing about what the people are looking for. That part of the song is not quite as family friendly or as fun. But with your E minor, A minor, B, you can play lots of songs in this here key. Seven Nation Army around the campfire if you want to. And the thing about, we were having a conversation about this uh, earlier this morning, Sherry and I, the, the interesting thing about a song like Seven Nation Army is that the is that really it's all about this. It's all about those notes. Um, so a lot of people learn to play those notes on the guitar and then like basically you've 85 percent learned the song if you can play those notes in in that order uh with the correct rhythm and keep it keep it steady but there's sort of a a level at which the chords that are implied that will sound good are this e minor ba, 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 a minor b7 um and so uh so sometimes a song, um, if you're going to play it around the campfire with a ukulele, sometimes it helps to figure out kind of what the chords would be if somebody was strumming chords uh, when they're not necessarily there in the version of the song that you know. And you can also play that riff on the ukulele, as you might have imagined. The trouble, sometimes the, 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 both the trouble and the opportunity with the ukulele is you don't have quite as much bass range. So if I try this, I don't have that, I don't have any note lower than this, so I can't go bum. So what I'm going to do, I know I need this note down an octave, so what I'm going to do is instead of, instead of making myself sad that I don't have that note, I'm going to play a chord there. I'm going to play our B7 chord. Um, Sometimes by playing something people don't expect to hear, you can fool them and make them think they heard what they wanted to hear. There are two ways of playing this riff. There's there's a third way, actually. There's, wait, there's like 67,000 ways of playing this riff. But there's always more ways. Yes. So I think the way we're going to try it is with as many open strings as possible, just to give our little left hand a little bit of a break. Mm. So I want to go bum, bum, bum. So I can go bum, put my ring finger up on the third fret of the same string. Bum, bum. Or I can take advantage of the fact that I've got this note on my open fourth string. So I'm going to start this riff by playing two open strings. Bum, bum, bum. 
and I'm like almost all the way there. And then I need a D, so I'm going to put my, what am I going to do? I'm going to put my um, middle finger on the second fret of my third string. And then I'm going to take it off. So I'm going to bum, 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 And then... So you've played like five notes here and only used one finger. I know. That's awesome. Because it's the ukulele. Yeah. It's a little bit tricky to remember to go get that... So what I would do is I would put my index finger on of my right hand on my second string and my thumb up here on my open fourth string. But you work that out. I think right hand techniques um, flow a little easier than left hand techniques. So I'm going to get ready with my, with my middle finger here. I'm getting him ready to plop down on the second fret. And as a matter of fact, I'm going to put him there now. So my middle finger is already on this note, second fret of my third string. Cause I don't, cause I don't need anything else. You can just, he's just gonna park there. Well, I hit these two open strings one after the other, bum, bum, bum. and then I'm gonna hit this string, third string, bum. Then I'm gonna pick up that middle finger, bum. and then it's a little bit of a scramble to grab hmm. that B seven chord. So it's like this. So I'm gonna, first thing I'm gonna do is I can plant my middle finger on the second fret of my third string. And now I'm going to start with the second string, fourth string, second string, bum, 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 third string, and then lift your finger off the third string, play it open, bum, and then I'm going to grab that chord. That is a little bit of a scramble, but you can do it. And people will think you're so cool around the camera. I know you you'll be the that. coolest ever. Okay, so let's let's try it together a couple times. You okay. Maybe set us up reasonable. I rush, so you set set me up. Two, three, four. those little extra ones. Here they come. hot shots. Remember how this seventh fret up here makes it E minor? I'm just going to show this for people who, um, who are inclined to wander up the neck. I'm going to put my index finger on the seventh fret of the string and I'm going to just lay my other fingers down along that string until I get to my pinky. So what I'm going to do is play index, pinky, index. And then I'm going to move my pinky over a string and I'm going to lay all my fingers on this second string now and I'm going to put my middle finger and then my index finger. So you're making a little box. And then I've got my, I'm going to drop, drop that little note in there in the middle. So we're just going to play this a couple times because I don't think. Oh, and the other thing I wanted to show you is when you get to the end. When you hit this note, if you got, if you're in the mood for a little zumbo, little vibrato, little culo, I'm gonna hit the note with my uh, with my right hand, and I'm gonna take my left hand and shake it back and forth, slide the string up and down on the fretboard. High up the neck, those are pretty easy to do. They're harder to do down here. There's not quite enough wiggle room on the string. And that's called either vibrato or tremolo, depending on who you ask and the situation. I think these are tremolos. Well, yes, on, yes. That's a kind of tremolo. That's definitely a kind of tremolo. People, the terminology is <laughs> all over the place sometimes. Are we doing this together now? Uh, let's or, go back maybe to the root, to the, to the down one because that's the one people are probably going to okay. play. And then and then we're then we're we should get back we should wrap this up, right? Yeah. Okay.
two, three, four. So we should mention the fact that next week is um, that Memorial Day. Memorial Day. Next week is Memorial Day. The library is closed next Monday for Memorial Day. Our basement's closed too. And our basement is closed too. So there will be no Ukulele Club live stream next Monday. But mm, stay tuned. So you can. So the two things that you can do if you miss us. Um, the two things you could do are check out Jeff's two low dive videos, which are really good. Um, they are linked from grubsmusic.com, uh, and the link to that page is in the comments here, somewhere around this video. And take the opportunity also to record your part for coming out of here, so that we can put that together the next couple weeks and make ourselves a beautiful community, uh, a beautiful community ode to all the awesome things that are all of you while we weather this pandemic together. Yeah. All right, theme song time. Mm -hmm. Two, three, four. Wood County District Public Library. Ukulele Club. Wood County District Public Library. Have a eucalyptus day. See you later. Wow. <laughs>